Hi, my name is Amy from Stampin' Stuff and I just want to do a quick video about spiral dies and you may have seen some of these pop up there. There are a lot of brands now that are making these spiral um, cutting dies um, for your cuddle bug and things like that. And um, when I first picked one up I was a little bit confused on how to actually make the flower. Now that I have done it, I am putting... Um, I'm putting uh, rolled roses on everything. You probably can't see this whole thing because I haven't zoomed the camera out far enough. But um, I, I actually made a few things before Christmas where I spent I spent 25 hours on the first lot of rolled roses, then I lost count of how long it took, and then 20 hours on the um, the second project I did. So I've spent a lot of time making these little rolled roses. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to make one today. And this is the size that comes from the um, Spellbinders Bitty Bottom, Bitty, <laughs> Bitty Blossoms. Um, so when you when you cut the die, you will end up with a spiral like this. And what I like to do first is use a little bit of distress ink and a sponge just to distress the edges, um, and mainly just aim for these little bits on the um, the very sides because you see the tops of the leaves. The tops of the petals um, a lot and if they're white they don't tend to look as as nice I don't think so now that it's inked I'm just going to give it a good scrunch and then straighten it back out Now the trick with spiral blossoms is to start rolling from the outside. So you're rolling from the outside in and this last petal here is actually the base of the flower. So that there is the last petal. Okay, to start rolling the, um, the rows, what we're going to do is take the end, so we've got the, the very end here, and Fold it over as tight as you can get it to go. And then just start rolling it in. Now when you get to the end and you see that last little petal, we're actually going to put some liquid glue. So I'm using Mod Podge, but put a whole lot of liquid glue on the rolled up section and then just press that last petal into the glue. And then while it's still wet, put it down on a surface and start to squish those petals, the petals down and you can sort of shape the flower a little bit. After it dries, it's impossible to shape when well when you use as much glue as I do. Um, so they're they're very strong once they once they're dry. But just give a push on those petals, and then you will end up with something like that. And here's the one I did before. <laughs> 